Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. Say hi to the family for me, but if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty and today we are doing one of my favorite videos to do here on this channel and it's also a favorite for a lot of you guys I see the request okay and I'm gonna slap myself slap myself on the hand punish myself for not doing these videos more often I like them you like them so what why are we not doing this on a regular basis I don't know I don't know I just never get around to it so for that I apologize I am sorry I'm gonna try to do better but no promises all right so you already know what it is it's a shopping block video it's my version of a anti haul purchase or pass shopping list video where we go through some recent new releases and decide whether or not we're going to pick them up but my aim is really to block you from shopping and also block myself so it's a two-way street here all right we're gonna talk through it but I can already tell you right now there are a few things that I'm interested in, but there are quite a few that I'm not. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the shopping block. First of all, let me get some lotion because I am ashy. We can't have that, right? I'm a little bit ashy. So let's, let's remedy that real quick. And I am drinking a very questionable Capri Sun. All right, it's the one without the transparent bottom, so you can't tell if there's mold and mildew in here. I can't tell what's in here. I'm just drinking it on faith, so pray for me, all right? Pray for me. But I figure it's a little bit better, a little bit better than drinking a soda right now, which is really what I wanna do. All right, so I'm gonna scoot over here. Let me refocus. We're gonna pop up the products over here and talk about them, and there have been a ton of new releases since I last did one of these videos and we obviously can't cover all of them so we're going to pick the highlights out of the bunch all right let's start out with one that I'm already getting don't even talk to me all right don't talk to me <laughs> I'm getting this this is from Patrick Ta it is actually live on the Sephora website and it will be in store tomorrow which is probably when you're watching this video and I will be there bright and early picking mine up so this is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 matte eyeshadow palette and when I saw this previewed on Patrick Ta's Instagram I about lost my mind I damn near passed out because this is exactly what I have been requesting forever and I'm just like oh my god thank you so much finally a brand is listening to me I'm, I'm making this all about me all right I'm the one that requested it I'm the one he's personally made this for so you're just gonna have to deal with it but oh my god I own his other two major dimension palettes and I love, when I say I love his matte formula, I mean I love it. It's so good. And the Major Dimension 2, I fell in love even more with those mattes. They're so creamy. They're so blendable. They're so smooth. They apply like a dream. I love it. So in my heart of hearts, I've been dying for him to do an all matte palette. Because that would be kind of a travel palette for me. It can be a staple palette because it would have all the shades that I want, right? And that's exactly what he's doing here. Look at this, look at this, look how beautiful it is. Look at how creamy the shades are, oh my God. Now the only thing, the only thing that I don't love love is that there's a uh, black in this palette, which that's not a bad thing, all right? I just don't find myself using black as much, but for Patrick Ta, honey, I will. And I mean, he has more smoky hues in here, so I understand the pairing of that smoky black in the palette. But the swatches he did on his Instagram page, you know what? I'm just going to pop it up over here. I could not contain myself. I was just like, oh, oh my God. This looks so good. All these shades look rich and creamy and just oh so silky I want it there are two cream eyeshadows one's a black and one's a dark brown and his cream eyeshadows I don't know how he does it but his cream formula just works so well with powders without getting crepey or cakey I'm so in love so I'm getting this absolutely without a doubt getting this 
we have warmer shades and then cooler tone shades. So you can do more sultry, cool tone, gray leaning looks, and then you have a warmer side for your everyday look. You can mix and match as needed. Say less, say less. It's pricey, it's $70. So it's not something I would necessarily recommend to every Joe Schmo, but listen, if you wanted an all matte palette, Girl, I'm, I can't, I can't. They're gonna be 10 of the powder shades and two of the creams, all right? I'm getting it. I can't even block you from this. I'm getting it, hands down. Getting it. All right, let's move on to one that I'm not interested in, even remotely, not a little bit at all. This is, you know what I'm gonna say, Pat McGrath. Oh my God. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 11. <sighs> Sunlit Seduction Palette. Y'all know what I'm gonna say already. What is this? Auntie Pat, what are you doing? <laughs> what is this? I, like, this is just Divine Rose 5 at this point. It looks like every single other Divine Rose palette. And Divine Rose was what? Number, what is this? Number 7? So, we're up to 11. So, it's Divine Rose 5. Like, for real though. This is just like a more saturated, deeper version of the Divine Rose palettes that she has been releasing nonstop. It's like since she started with Divine Rose, it's just been repetition with like two shades swapped out. And this one is no different. She'll try to pull you in with something slightly different from the last one. So for this palette, we have this Crimson, Blitz Crimson Ecstasy, which is like a crimson shade. So like a brighter pink shimmer. But I just, I don't get it. They're pinks, they're rosy tones, and a gold or a champagne, and that's it. You're going to achieve the same looks that you would have from the other palettes. And I get the intrigue of Divine Rose, right? It was more wearable. People love their rosy tones. I don't even think the rosy tones look that good on everybody. The people that rave about it, oh, this is my favorite. I don't even think it looks that great on them. Honestly, truly, I'm sorry to say it, but like, I don't get it. I don't get why this is so repetitive. Why she keep doing this? Why? And what's interesting is that this palette has a three star rating on the Sephora app. Meanwhile, the previous palette, which was the Moon Lit Seduction, that was the one with the purple that was gonna make it different, that one has five stars. So what's going on? People are fed up. Maybe people are just over it. All her other palettes are four or five stars. Like, are you kidding me? So for this one to get three stars is very interesting to me. I feel like people are over the rosy palettes. They were expecting something different and she keeps giving the same old same. And then the astral shades, those special shades in the palette, aren't even that special anymore because other brands are doing it, right? And she's kind of switched up the formula. So instead of being that baked formula that people had gotten used to, like that was just special to Pat McGrath, now they're just regular pressed eyeshadows and they've lost their luster, to me anyway. And I haven't even seen many videos showcasing this palette. So you can have this if you want to. I mean, good luck, have fun with that. So that is an easy skip for me. I'm not even interested. And the price is now $128. So we have inflation price increase right there. All right, let's move on to another palette that seems to be doing a little bit better. So this is from Natasha Denono. It is her I Need a Nude eyeshadow palette. This is one of her midi palettes, right, which are $69. And they contain 15 shades, right? But they're in the like the smaller packaging. And I think she's doing more of these midi size palettes because they sell a little bit better. People don't wanna spend $129 on a palette, child. We don't care how much eyeshadow we're getting, like we're really not interested. And I think she learned that lesson from the Circo Loco palette. That was the colorful big palette. I don't think that sold very well but all her midi palettes sell out. So this palette is no exception. And you guys know, if you know me, I don't buy Natasha Denona because she's a bitch. <laughs> no, she called me out my name. I'll never support her. But this I Need a New palette is out of stock. Out of stock. So this flew off the shelves, right? People are dying over this palette. And I've seen so many videos showcasing this palette. So I know like YouTube, TikTok, they've gone nuts over this palette. And I don't know why. 
I don't know why. It's another nude palette right off the back of, well, I shouldn't say that because the Yucca palette, which I was corrected. The last time I mentioned this palette, I said it was the Yucca palette because of the Yucca plant, which is like a edible root that we eat, you know, eat in Jamaica. But apparently this is another plant that is local to like the desert region of California. I may be wrong, but it's actually the Yucca plant. So two different plants two different pronunciations. So you have yucca and you have yucca. So this is yucca, which is even worse because why would you want your palette to be yucca? Anyway, the yucca palette, people seem to have liked as well. It was more like mustardy browns and some mustardy greens. And then before that was what? The My Dream palette? I don't know. I'm scrolling through Sephora trying to figure out the, uh, like the sequence. Oh no, didn't she do Retro Glam before that? So it was Retro Glam then yucca okay so now it doesn't seem that out of place anymore because i was about to say that this is just another nude palette but it's not it's not it it it, it syncs up so it's a neutral palette but here's the thing the swatches on the website that she um popped up these looked like they were gonna be mid-tones and deeper tones with a couple of lighter shades mixed in. And I was like, oh, this looks like it could be nice. I was even inspired to probably do a build a palette around this theme. But then I saw people actually get the palette and swatch it out and I'm like, these shades are nowhere close to what was swatched here. And people are making this big to do about like a new texture that she has. Let me read what Sephora says. So there's this brand new wet effect formula. Okay, so these are supposed to be sparkling foiled shades and people apparently love those two shades and those were the two shades that she swatched in like a video that shows them sparkling and like it's a whole thing right but like i said when i saw these swatched out like for real for real swatches they're extremely light shades extremely light and i'm like I guess this can be a nude for somebody on the lighter side of things that wants this nude palette. And I mean, if, if we're being honest, people love nude palettes. Neutral palettes will always be popular, okay? As much as we gripe about wanting a fun color story, something that's inspiring, people don't gravitate towards that. The regular Joe Schmo, okay, the Jane Schmo, is going to pick up a neutral palette because it's easy, it's simple, it's effortless. Just grab and go. You don't have to think too much about it. You don't have to be too creative to get use out of it. And most people are getting neutral palettes, right? So it makes sense for her collection. And the swatches on the website were inspiring, but the real life swatches are trash. Like for real, like all the shades look light. There's like one dark shade and it's that dark like wine red, like wine brown shade. Other than that, all the other shades are light and then they're sparkly and metallic so they're really extra light because they just look like a champagne shade. So they swatch a lot lighter than they look in the palette. And I saw this in store and I touched it and I was like, this, no, this is not given what the promo images gave. And this is a disappointment. So if you got it, good for you, it sold out. So obviously people are getting it. I mean, even if it was cute, I wasn't gonna get it anyway. I'm getting the Patrick Ta palette, which has less shades, you know, but I know I love that formula and Patrick Ta is not a dick. All right, that I know of. Maybe he is. What if he is? And then I have to eat my words. <gasps> Gasp, gag. All right, let's talk about this other palette. Oh my God. <laughs> So this is from Urban Decay. Poor Urban Decay. Little herbs. What are you doing, herbs? So this is their new Naked palette, which Naked to me is just the layout of the palette at this point. This is their Metal Mania palette. And <laughs> when I tell you, I laughed when I saw this palette because I'm like, oh, look at herbs trying to do something edgy, but not really. So they have two colors in this palette that stand out, this yellow gold and then this kind of fuchsia, pinky, ruby looking shade, right? That's it, that's it, that's it. All the other shades are typical naked shades. There's a silver, I'll give them that. There's like a silver shade. 
but who really wears silver? I can't tell the last time I wore a silver. I don't like silver eyeshadow and I don't think many people do. And here they go. They got the little silver, they got the, the, the fuchsia and they got the yellow gold. And then everything else is nude. Which I mean, I guess lines up with the naked theme. But what is this? What is, uh, um, Urban Decay, you're about to go out of business and you make me sad because I like you so much. I do, I like Urban Decay, but this is, this is nonsense. Like this, <laughs> don't even, and I'm sure this is gonna be like a good $55, maybe. Cause again, price increases. No, you can skip it. These shades from Urban Decay and these naked palettes tend to be very sheer, very subdued, which is not a bad thing. Again, like I said, people like easy, people like simple. But like the color stories that they're trying to slide in to like amp it up and make it a little bit edgy is not really, it's not special. And the formulation I feel like is so outdated. They need to step it up with the formulation. Redo that. Do over. Mix it up. Do something else because this doesn't make it at all. Speaking of who ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Too Faced. Okay. So they have these Pop-Tart palettes. I saw these in store at Ulta as well. I didn't even swatch them because I was like, what is this foolishness? So they have brown sugar cinnamon and frosted strawberry Pop-Tarts. A clever little thing. I think it's a good fit for Too Faced. Like that's what they do, like chocolate bar and stuff. But these are mini eight pan palettes. And I, <laughs> I just know they're gonna be bad. As much as I would like to like give them the benefit of the doubt, I can just see these being bad. The little um, chocolate one, the little brown sugar cinnamon, doesn't look bad. Like those, those shades look like they could do something. And then they have this berry palette. Like I get it. The color themes don't look that bad, right? But the quality just isn't there anymore. It really isn't. And I'm not inspired. Even the, <laughs> the models, oh my God, they did. <laughs> They did eye looks on two models and they look so bad. They look so bad. Look at this pink eye they give this poor girl. Oh my god. They <laughs> it looks so bad. I'm sorry. That looks so ugly. And then this like rusty orangey thing they did on the tan model. Whoo, the brown skin model look even worse. Lord of mercy. It look bad. It don't look nice. Mm-mm. No, Too Faced, no, we're not doing that. We're not, we're not, mm, mm All right, should we talk about some complexion products? Let's talk, let's talk. This is from Fenty. It's the Ease Drop Blur Plus Smooth Tint Stick. This is their stick version of their um, Ease Drop foundation, you know, that liquid tinted foundation. I already bought this and I used it in a get ready with me. Where is, I don't even know where it is over there with my foundations. It is fantastic. When I tell you they got this foundation formulation correct, they did. It's smoothing, it's blurring, it's not drying though. It doesn't feel dry on the skin, so I feel like the majority of skin types will enjoy this. And if you have drier skin, maybe you just moisturize, like prep your skin, like you know what to do. You have dry skin, like I don't have to tell you what to do, come on. But this, the finish is beautiful, the shade match is beautiful that I got. I got shade 16. It looks so good. It's so easy to blend on the skin. Oh my God. It's another one of those. Ah, like I wasn't even going to get it because I don't love stick foundation. But this, what am I telling you? It's nice. It's very nice. Fenty. You're going with things in it. I wasn't ready to count Fenty out for a minute. Not going to lie because they haven't had really great releases. But this, ma'am, Pam and Sam. Love it. My love it. Thanks, Fenty. My love it. Okay, I could talk about this one. This is a concealer. There have been many concealer releases and we're going to talk about all of them. So we have this House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Hydrating Concealer. I'm excited. Didn't love the foundation. It was a little bit too hydrating, too glowy, too much. Okay, for me and my oily skin. Didn't love it at all. Oh, the foundation I'm wearing, let me tell you, because it's pretty. This is from Dior. It's the Capture Total Cell Energy Super Potent Serum Foundation. The shade I have is 5N. This has skincare and sunscreen and like the works and it's so pretty, isn't it? Oh my God, somebody recommended this in the comments. So yes, I just tried it out. I didn't try it out before someone asked me if I tried it because it was on sale. Well, it was on sale, so I picked it up and 
beautiful. Dior never stares me wrong, so I'm not like surprised. Anyway, this house labs concealer. I'm I'm interested. Girl, y'all know that was an email. It is seven o'clock. Why are you emailing me? Oh, okay, the I got a revised invoice from a subcontractor. Anyway. <laughs> this concealer let's keep going so they're gonna be 31 shades six shade families four undertones I'm intrigued I'm interested I will be trying this out I'll have to swatch this in store though so as soon as it goes live I will check it out it was previewed pretty early on because it still hasn't launched on the Sephora website as yet it's, it's on the website, but it's out of stock. It will be launched in September 7th. So we're still a, a week out, but I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I will be checking it out, but there are two concealers that I did pick up and did try out. So first one up, the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. 22 shades, $29 each. And C tier. I don't like it. I do not like it. The shade I picked up was what? 420. It's being returned. It is being returned. It is so ugly. It is so ugly on my skin. Oh my god. So I did a get ready with me. I don't know if I'm going to post it first or post this video first. But you know, I applied it. I was testing it out alongside another concealer. And girl, when I tell you... It was so ugly, the blend was ugly, the finish was ugly, the shade was ugly, like the whole thing. <laughs> and it was a little bit clumpy, like there were clumps in it and I'm like, what, what is, like the texture was just different. It's a thicker texture, but then it's lumpy and I'm like, this don't even make no sense. And then it wasn't really smoothing or blurring or anything, it settled kind of funny. Don't like it, don't recommend it, and I should have known better because the foundation hated it hated it so much so yeah definitely it's like different from the house labs foundation because i didn't hate the house labs foundation i hated the finish and with the makeup by mario foundation i hated the finish and hated the foundation so i thought it was ugly <laughs> so not surprised that this is ugly too because why it looks so terrible i'm not like it it's very terrible looking all right this concealer this is from Yves Saint Laurent, YSL. So this is the All Hours Creaseless Precise Angles Concealer. $38, a lot of money, but I'm kind of interested. They have an interesting little precise applicator that has a little like arrow shape. Listen, I tried this concealer, like the previous formulation. They have the All Hours line with the foundation and a concealer before, and I liked it. I really did like it, so I'm thinking I'll try this out. I'll probably wait for the Sephora sale because it's $38. 30, who, who are you talking to? $38, I'm not buying that. <laughs> I'm not buying that full price. Listen, I just don't feel the need to buy makeup full price anymore, especially when it's that expensive. For what, what is the reason? What is the reason? I don't have the reason. You let me know if you find the reason because whatever to that, all right. The next concealer that I tested out personally is from Tower 28 Beauty. So this is their Swipe All Over Hydrating Serum Concealer. Serum concealer, it's gonna be thin, it's gonna be lightweight. Where is it? Hold on. Here she is, $22, cheaper than the Makeup by Mario one and for sure cheaper than the YSL one. This one, I also tried it in the same Get Ready With Me video, so you'll see that coming up. Compared to the Makeup by Mario one, and maybe that's why the Makeup by Mario one felt so thick, this is thin, it's lightweight, it's a serum concealer, it has a more glowy finish, but even though it was a glowier finish, I prefer this over the Makeup by Mario one. Now, I don't love this, again, because it's, it's a little bit too glowy for me, if you have dry skin, I feel like you will like this because it has that really hydrated look. Oh my God. And under your eyes, even if you have oilier combination skin, sometimes under your eyes is drier anyway. So you might like a more hydrated look and that's cute for you. It's not cute enough for me. It's okay. Like I can work with this, but I have so many other concealers that I prefer that this one didn't really 
do it for me. It didn't have the oomph. Like the coverage is light medium. It doesn't cover my dark under eyes the way I need it to. Like right now I'm wearing the Fenty, the regular Fenty one. Wait, Niam. Fenty, I wear your things, Niam. Ooh, child, pro filter. That is what I'm wearing. And beautiful, beautiful. This one is still pretty. It's just for a different audience. I'm not the audience, so I'm not, I'm not loving it. But I wouldn't say it's a, a bad um, concealer at all. Did you see this one from Makeup Forever? This is the HD Skin Smooth and Blur Undetectable Under Eye Concealer. $29. So same price as the Makeup by Mario one. This one I tried in store and immediately knew I didn't like it. I couldn't get a good shade match. So with my concealer, I try to get a match that is going to blend into my skin. I don't want it to be brightening or lifting, I need it to be my shade match, right? I couldn't find a shade. The closest shade I got was too light and I didn't like that brightening effect, so I didn't try it out. And I didn't love, love, love the texture. And I don't know that I've loved the HD line from Makeup Forever ever, right? The foundation, the newest formulation, because they've done it like four times now, the newest formulation is okay. It's very sticky though, so you kind of have to work with it to get it to work just right. I can't be bothered with all that energy, okay? And so the HD concealer that matched that before, it was just like, you know, the full cover concealer, I loved. I loved that concealer that went with their Velvet Matte Foundation, love that. But they don't impress me with their formulations anymore, so I don't love it. I don't want it. I don't want it at all, so... That one is a skip, skip, skip for me. All right, let's see what else is interesting here that has recently launched. What is this? Maple Syrup Pancakes Eyeshadow Palette from Too Faced. <laughs> Y'all, they didn't even take real product pics. This looks like it's straight from Adobe, not even Photoshop. Straight Adobe. What is this? No, and then look at the swatches. These look so computer generated. AI, whoo. Um, it's a pink, purple, what is this color story? Pink, purple, brown, all one green in it, two green, some berry. What is this? What is, what is Too Faced? <laughs> and this looks so stupid. What kind of palette is this? Mm -mm. The only shade, I tell you right now, the only, sh well, three shades in the, three, four, four shades in this palette are speaking to me, which are the three browns, matte browns, right? At the end, like, you know, and then the, um, the look of olive green. That's it. Like, I don't even, I cannot, I mean, whoo, even the eyeshadow looks that they did, not cute. Maple syrup pancake. Why the long name? You couldn't just go pancake or maple like chocolate chip pancake. Why the maple syrup pancakes? Jared, come back. Come back. <laughs> looks like they missed Jared and they lost their minds because that looks so stupid. Are you serious? Are you really you can't be serious? No, that really look foo foo. Alright, let's let's keep going because this is just ridiculous. Another relaunch from Makeup Forever are blushes, highlighter powders, and bronzer contour powders. I saw these in store and Makeup Forever did have a pretty decent blush formula. Not gonna hold you, but it's just, I don't know. Something about like the new releases from Makeup Forever aren't pulling me in. And the blushes look pretty, like that bright shade, that bright pink, the B250. That's sexy. That is sexy. I just don't know how many people are doing bright, like neon blushes anymore. We're veering into a life of subtle and subdued these days. Am I lying? Like, look at the lip. We're back into the nude lips with the liner. I mean, this nude lip is killing it right now. I used my Huda Beauty lip contour pencil in rich brown. Yes. And then two lip glosses from uh, Juvia's Place. Oh my God, the deep one is Mocha Chino. And then the light one in the center is Coffee Break. So pretty, these are so good. 
Mm, anyway, that's not the point. What was I saying? I don't, I lost my train of thought. Ooh, child. Yeah, we're going into subtle, subdued, I mean, latte makeup. Come on, we're going into very pared down looks. So, I feel like these shades aren't really, like, hip with the times, you know? So, mm -mm. and then the highlighter powders, they were okay, but they weren't very impressive. And then the contour powders, too, weren't very impressive, so... Yeah, I can skip that. So easy to skip. Did you hear about Prada now releasing makeup? Ooh, I saw Khaki do a video on these and also Teresa is dead. Um, I don't know. Khaki likes the foundation. So if Khaki likes the foundation, I more than likely won't. <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> no, I know how to like navigate the people that I watch, right? Their recommendations are not gonna work for me. I've tried products that they love, like they swear by. They have dry skin and they are very light. They're white, right? They have white skin. What they love, don't work for me, okay? Hannah Louise Poston, same thing, love her, right? Her recommendations, not for me. She likes glowy skin. She likes like smoky, like <laughs> sooty eyeshadow. Not for me, so. I don't think this foundation is gonna be for me just based on khaki liking it, right? She has dry skin too, so it's like, mm? But one of the lip colors that she tried was gorgeous, gorgeous. And like the selection, the, let me, you know, the selection of shades, I mean, these are bright like neon colors. Now here is where you can get me with a neon shade, a lip color. So I might try one of the lip colors out. They have the foundation in like the full packaging, but you can also get the refill. It's a cheaper alternative and I'll see. I'll think about it. If it's more accessible, like if it's at a Neiman Marcus where I can go and swatch because I don't feel like I can select, ooh, my mouth got all watery. Mm. Mm -mm. Ooh, child. I don't feel like I can select my shade from their shade range. I don't know, cause like even looking at this promo picture, like why are the lighter shades so pink looking? I don't want it. And then they have these eyeshadow, what are they, quads, quince? They're quads, so they're four shades, right? And are there four or is it three? It looks like there's four. Yeah, cause there's like a line apart, right? So the triangle part, we have three triangle shades and then a deeper, yeah, so it's four. These color stories look stupid. Them really look stupid, I'm not lie to you. Them look foo foo, like what are we pairing here? We have like this green with a pink and a purple. And then we have a red with like a gunmetal and a purpley shade. Then we have this bright sky blue with an orange and then a burger. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, you select them shade here. Oh, you said, I don't, them don't coordinate or go together. Prada, what is you doing? It don't make no sense, but if it does release in store, I'd like to see it. I probably won't get it though. Like nothing about it really is is like jumping out to me as a must have. But we'll see. We will see. All right, let's see what else jumps out. So I'm just scrolling through like new releases and seeing if anything is jumping out. And I'm telling you right now, absolutely nothing is jumping out. Let's talk about this foolishness. Jaclyn Hill. Aww, ma'am. This is the collection that she said was so innovative and different and she's been working on it for like a decade and a half and this is gonna blow your mind. Girl, these are glazed luminizers, she'll call them. So the name might be different, so you know I'll call it an eyeliner. Look at this highlighter, by the way. Do you love how my skin is just subtly glowing? Do not play with me. This is Give by Gwen Stefani. It's like, hi, I'm very subtle and pretty. My skin looks really pretty right now. Lord Jesus. My skin, skin, lips, I'm feeling this look right now. But here she goes, here she goes <laughs> with five blinding shades of highlighter. Who is wearing this, Jacqueline? Jacqueline, Jacqueline Shill, who is buying this? Let's be real. No one is wearing blinding highlighters anymore. We're over that phase. Like I told you, people are going for subtle, more pared down makeup. The new generation, Gen Z, oh, come on. They don't want this foolishness from 2016. 
you're outdated let's let's move it along let's get this out of here this is foolishness wrap it up wrap it up glad to see you go go away we're done we're done here get out get away from here i i'm not doing it oh i didn't talk about this one the danessa myricks groundwork palette i'm not getting it <laughs> right out the gate it's weird it's it's a weird palette because it's a neutral palette beautiful but the eyeshadows are in duos of like a cream and a powder which is kind of like patrick tar right let's duo do it up but it's the shape and fix powders velvet pomades right and then you have the matching powder but i'm like why am i doing that like why do i have a cream eyeshadow and then a matching powder like why why would i be doing that and if i'm right i'm thinking that cream is gonna be like her um like that putty thing that she has for the face thing and i didn't like those so this palette don't make no sense to me i think it's kind of stupid <laughs> no oh my god i'm going to hell so this is 65 dollars, which was a surprising price point for me i thought it would be like a hundred and something dollars because her groundwork palettes is that what she called light work light work palettes are like a hundred and something dollars so for this to be sixty five dollars was interesting but it's meant for eyes brows face and lips which how do you do that that's my question how do you do a product that i can use in my brows use on my eyes which maybe you could do that for the eyes and brows because you know you can use a you know similar formulation but then also for the lips so how comfortable are you going to be and then also for the face so it won't go together because you need more pigment for the eyes less pigment for the cheeks a more cushy silky formula for the lips but then more dry down for the eyes so what are we doing what are we talking about it's too much it's too much i don't want to play with it <laughs> i don't i'm not interested at all y'all let me know if you pick that up and how it works for you but i'm not it's yeah, it's too much going on and I feel like that's what Danessa Myricks does and she loses me because she wants to do too much There's too much multi-use going on and I get it like you want it to be you know a more multifunctional so people get more bang for their buck, but I Have not banged or balked here, and I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want no parts of it All right, let's see what else is on the list hmm, nothing too interesting, but Marc Jacobs Beauty was just bought by Cody, so they're coming back. So Marc Jacobs Beauty was under the Kendo umbrella, just like Fenty Beauty and KVD Beauty, you know, that umbrella that works with Sephora. They were sold now to Cody, though, which is not necessarily a great brand. They don't have, like, a great reputation in the beauty space, I'm sorry to say. But I, I, I don't know. I, I'm thinking this should be a good relaunch. It's coming in 2025, which is a ways out. But, you know, time flies when you're having fun. And I did love the formulations from Marc Jacobs. But if they're now under Cody, everything's going to be reformulated. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Is this going to be interesting? I don't know. I don't know at all. We also have this Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Matte Translucent Talk Free Setting Powder. $32. I will swatch this. I love a powder. I love a loose powder. I love a setting powder. I have oily skin. I need to set. Okay? I always need to set. The powder I'm wearing today is actually a really pretty one as well. It's from Dior. It's their cushion powder in the shade Deep, which is stupid because that's the deepest shade. But it pretty don't. It's very pretty. My skin look nice. My not lie. But this powder from Milk Makeup, I don't know if they've done loose powder before. Most of their products have been cream and liquids. So I'm interested to see. I'll swatch it in store. I probably won't buy it unless it like really impresses me in store. Not a bad little launch, not from Milk Makeup, right? And if it sets makeup for 16 hours, blurs, pores, control shine, matte finish, I'm all about it. So... We'll see. I'll check this out in store to see like how it goes. And then what else do we have here? Don't care, don't care, don't care. All of these are stupid. Fenty Beauty, what is this? Ooh, so this launched in Europe, so it's probably coming to the US soon. 
these are shadow sticks this is another product that's like making its round cream eyeshadows liquid eyeshadow shadow sticks i'd like to see what fenty has in store i won't get it because i don't care that much but i'd like to see it you know there are things you want to see but you're not gonna pick up and that's pretty much all she wrote that's it i thought i missed so much more so much more i mean none of these things look oh look at this wait wait let's talk about this kosas this is their undressed eyeshadow palette is this the first eyeshadow release from kosas looks like it it's an eight pan eyeshadow palette 40 40 for eight eyeshadow patrick tell me i come get you tomorrow just know that neutral palette again i tell you neutral cell but this does not look even that interesting one shimmer and then seven mattes that's what it looks like i don't know that this is gonna do well kosas you should have yeah i don't know i don't i don't have high hopes for that it doesn't look good it doesn't at all and then Anastasia Beverly Hills has some new palette coming out for holiday. I love the packaging. It's like this rich Merlot looking palette. They have a shown inside. But here's where I'm going to be in my element because all the holiday launches, all the holiday releases are coming up. And that's when I thrive. You know why? Because I don't want any of the launches. Because everything's sparkly and glittery and holiday themed. There's gold and glitter and... I can do without it so I will thrive I will be living my best life during the holiday season okay I will be thriving but I thought for sure I missed like so much but apparently I did not at all I mean there are things that I've skipped that I haven't talked about but I want to have like a fresh start right I just want to start from scratch and then do my shopping box a little bit more often I said that last time and here we are so don't hold me to that at all but the holiday launches are coming up that's gonna be an exciting time and I want to you know talk more about new releases with you guys what are you guys interested in getting like I said to you I'm getting the Patrick Ta palette point blank period I'm probably going to get the house labs concealer I want to see it that milk makeup powder she might get, she's going to get touched. She's going to get a little swatchy swatch, okay? Interested, nothing else. That's it. The Prada, if I see it in store. But other than that, I think I'm in a good place. I did a haul recently, so you can check it out. I did pick up some things, so it's not like I'm out here not buying makeup, right? And I also picked up some more things. Let me show you. Girl on, listen, girl on, look a palette ear, add me interested. So this is the Undressed Brown palette. And I haven't tried out a girl on eyeshadow in so long. When they originally had eyeshadows, I think they had singles, maybe quads as well. Yeah, no, 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 duos. I had a couple of those and I like them. And I'm wearing a couple of the shades right now and I do like the formulation. I'm going to do a get ready with me with with the girl on but whatever the point is it's not like i'm out here not shopping right i'm just in my luxury girl era i'm into bougie beauty so i'm gonna do like get ready with me videos with all my new purchases and just have a good time on this channel let me know what kind of videos you're interested in seeing i know this video gets a lot of views you guys love these kinds of videos so i hope to be doing more but other than that i hope you guys are all doing well and i will leave links to all the products well as many as i can fit in the description box and i'll leave links to where you can pick them up if you're interested if those links have an asterisk next to them that means that that is an affiliate link it indicates that i will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links it's a great way to show you support for the channel because it gives me a kickback and the price stays the same so if you wanted to kind of give back to the channel while you're shopping please consider using my links other than that, I do have channel memberships, so thank you to the members that have joined. I also have super thanks, so you can leave me a tip. It's kind of like a tip jar, just like the memberships. And I will leave you links to my Instagram and Twitter, where you can follow me along. It will never be X. It will never be X in this house, alright? Until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye, guys.